The sweet spot here at the fairground. That's uh, celebrating a pretty big milestone, huh, Catherine? Yeah, Darren, and let me tell you, it's been busy all day here in the Sugar House, and boy, is it sweet smelling. I wish I could wear this, like, as a perfume all night, although the bugs might like me a little bit too much, but the volunteers here have been working hard all day, making just about every kind of sweet maple tree that you can imagine. Oh, because of the maple creamies, they're the best. It's a tradition at the Champlain Valley Fair, the Maple Sugar House. Maple treats of many varieties for all to enjoy. It started in 1974 and a lot has changed, but some of the faces are the same. I just love the industry, so I was able to get involved. Mike Gillamette was the electrician who helped light up the sugar house in 1974, and he's been involved ever since. Now as the chair of the Chittenden County Sugar Makers Association. The maple industry is uh, something everybody enjoys and um, now I'm kind of well known right and everybody so so it's a little bit easier but uh, I just it's hard for me to walk away. The Sugar House doesn't just serve treats each year they donate fifteen thousand dollars to Maple Research to help push the industry forward. Patrons get to learn more about the industry as well. It's important for people to know where their food comes from and how it's processed to get to your plate, to get to the table. Along with education, there's nothing that beats tasting that sweet treat. When you see these kids, right, I want this, I want that, right, and they pay and they taste it and, oh my gosh, this is good. It, it's, that's what you thrive for, you know, and, and uh, serving a good product. From donuts to candy to popcorn and creamies, the Sugar House is a lasting symbol of Vermont's sweetest export. Look at this. Fantastic. And so the cotton candy is my absolutely favorite treat here at the fair. I know a lot of people like the maple creamies, but cotton candy is my favorite. So Mike's helping me out here and letting me try because the volunteers make it look so easy. So I'm going to pour some sugar in. And there it's coming out. All right. So I'm going to stick this in. Turn it around, pull it out. Woo! <laughs> well, thank you, everybody. And I'm going to try it. Oh, there is nothing like it. Live in Burlington, Catherine Utley, Channel 3 News.